Good morning. I pray that your Monday was filled with spaces and places of joy, of peace, of happiness. There's a little trail by where I'm staying and it comes up to this platform where you can see views. And I wanted to show you a view of the mountain range and I'm on this platform. And so today I want to talk about trusting yourself, trusting yourself. For a lot of us, we have made so many bad decisions that we have kind of lost the ability to trust ourselves. We have um, done things that did not turn out well, maybe pick partners that did not pan out, uh, maybe eaten something or drank too much. And whatever, over time, we've learned the message, can I really trust myself? Can I really trust myself to make good decisions for me? Can I really trust myself to do what's in my best interest? Or am I paying attention to what others tell me? Am I paying attention to what other people tell me what my limitations are? Am I um, trying to do things that other people are doing so therefore, we don't even know if we can really do it. We just saw somebody else do it. And so I just want to, this is a brief message. I just want to tell you that there's a freedom that comes when you begin to learn yourself, when you begin to accept all the parts of you, when you begin to recognize what you are good at, recognize where you may be able to push further, and recognize things that may be out of limits for you. Only when, as you begin that process will you begin to slowly learn to trust yourself. And will every decision may be a great, a great decision? No, <laughs> you know, we're not, we don't have crystal balls into our lives. Some things you try it and if you don't succeed, you try, try again. But you learn to trust that what I'm pursuing is something that will inevitably be good for me. I may not know the outcome. I may not know what it will end up being. But what I do know is that it will be what I need for this moment in time. This morning in yoga, she was talking about the instructor about staying present. And I think as we learn to trust ourselves, as we learn to stay, a process of trusting yourself is learning to stay present in the present moment, not moving ahead to what could possibly happen and not being focused on the past too much, but staying present. What does this present opportunity offer us? So again, like I said, this is not going to be a long video because I'm standing on this like bamboo platform and for whatever reason, I'm a little nervous up here but I just want to share this with you. Um, I made it up here, so quick, I guess she said five minutes, it probably took me about 15 minutes to kinda, I'm not gonna call it hiking, but for me it was a little hike to get up here. Um, but I'm glad that I made it. I love you all, talk to you later, and let's get into the practice of learning how to trust ourselves again. Because only, when you do, there will be so much freedom and all of us want to be free. Love you all. Bye-bye.